Hi, I'm Tom Lochtefeld, and I'm going to be talking to you about SysRev.com, a free open access programmable review platform. And uh, SysRev can be really helpful for putting together systematic reviews or for just extracting data from documents. So what is a SysRev? Uh, SysRevs are projects on SysRev.com where you upload articles or any kind of digital document. Uh, those could come from a PubMed search, from PDFs, or actually any kind of custom data format you want. So you upload articles to a SysRev. You then define review tasks. These are questions you're going to ask reviewers. Uh, things like, should this article be included or not included? If you're creating a screening review. Uh, or you could be asking to extract uh, answers to difficult questions, like what was the species studied in this paper or what were the outcomes of this paper? Uh, so you collect articles, define review tasks, and then SysRev helps you distribute those review tasks to reviewers whom you invite to your project. Uh, so projects can have one reviewer or they can have hundreds of reviewers. Uh, SysRev handles the process of distributing those tasks and actually it starts to automate those tasks as, as well. Uh, SysRev has a built-in machine learning uh, platform and so every time your reviewers are reviewing labels, SysRev is learning how to replicate those tasks. Now finally, at any stage in the review, you can export the results uh, into, a, into a spreadsheet format. Uh, or, or several other formats as well. SysRev is open access, uh, so you can create a, what we call a public project on SysRev.com, and these are projects that are accessible to the World Wide Web. Uh, if you go to SysRev.com slash search and search for cancer, you'll find a whole bunch of projects that people have done uh, reviewing cancer. Uh, this helps to reduce redundancy in this space, and it helps to make your work discoverable. Uh, public projects aren't only discoverable on SysRev.com, but we've worked to make sure that Google and Bing and every search engine can easily find public projects. And so if you go on Google and search for CISREV Eris, you'll be able to find all the reviews done by the Eris Surgical Group on CISREV. If you go on Bing and search for CISREV Gene Hunter, you'll be able to find uh, reviews that we did about identifying genes and text, which I'll come back to in a minute. Of course, once you've found a project, you still have to do uh, something with that project. And uh, something we've also introduced in CISREV that's a, that's uh, we think a kind of new idea in this space is the idea of clon clonable projects. Uh, and so in this project done by the Gassy Group and Tamara Lotfi, who I, I think is presenting here today, uh, there was a project created to understand uh, migrants and refugees in, in a corpus of documents they were looking at. Now they wanted to replicate this project across eight different groups. And rather than have to create that project over and over again with the same labels, uh, the Gessie Group was able to just clone that project eight, eight times. And what you're seeing here are just bar charts uh, showing you the distribution of answers extracted from documents that they were looking at. Uh, you could compare these distributions if you wanted, but the point is that you can go to any project on CISRA of any public project and clone those labels. You can even clone the documents if you want. Uh, this makes it much easier to create templates and we hope makes it easier to uh, sort of distribute new ideas within the systematic review space. Now, I'd also like to talk briefly about how SysRev is programmable. Uh, and before I get into that, I want to introduce you to a project we did a little more than a year ago uh, called Gene Hunter. In Gene Hunter, we invited 10 reviewers to extract genes from titles and abstracts. Here you can see that a reviewer is extracting YY1 uh, from this article uh, about structural regulators of enhancer promoter loops. Uh, so they extract that gene, and this process is done. Uh, we did it on about 2,000 abstracts. And after a little while, uh, you, you collect enough data to build a machine learning algorithm, a named entity recognition algorithm uh, that can automate this process. And uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a second, but it's worth pointing out that once you have this algorithm, if it's good, then you can scale up this process. So you could, for example, search for all the abstracts on longevity and automate the extraction of genes in those abstracts. Uh, if you know anything about the longevity literature, you'll know that these genes are probably the genes you would expect. And if you listen to Cynthia Kenyon's talk, uh, she's a famous researcher in longevity at Calico Labs, uh, you'll see her talking about many of the same genes. And so basically what I've taken you through is the process of creating a CISREV, extracting genes from documents in a CISREV, automating that process, and scaling it up to a large number of documents. The same sort of process uh, can, can be useful in many other domains and for many different kinds of NAD detection, like maybe detecting chemicals, for instance. So how would you do it? Well, you'd have to create a CISREV review, 
uh, for actually doing the process of extracting genes from literature or whatever entity you have. Uh, but then you could go to github.com uh, pysysrev, our, our Python sysrev client, and you could import that into a Python project and then extract all of your annotations to, uh, into a Python object. And we've made that Python object specifically so that it works well with Spacey, uh, which is an is a NLP uh, package. And here you can see how you would create an, a, a Spacey model for identifying genes and text, uh, given the gene, gene hunter uh, annotations. And the training process is quite simple as well. So you can notice that there's an NLP object here, which can be used now after training to identify genes and text. How would you do that? Here's the training steps again. You could just do doc is equal to NLP, put in a sentence, and then you can display the results. Here you can see us running, running the algorithm on this sentence. You can see MLH1 uh, being identified in a sentence. Again, this is Spacey. Uh, this is using Spacey and PySysRev. Uh, Spacey is a great package. We don't develop that, Spacey does. And uh, yeah, there's a great combination here. You can go to blog.sysrev.com slash simple NER to see how to do this yourself. Many of you may be R developers. Uh, if you work with R, we have a package for that as well uh, called rsysrev. It's still in active development, so we'd love if you came and worked with us on it and let us know what features you, you'd like to see in it. Uh, but if you wanted to extract all of the, all of the answers, all, all, of the, all of the information you've extracted in review, it's really just two lines. Uh, you have to install the project. You have to import the library as well and uh, get your token. Uh, those steps are pretty simple and they're described on github.com slash sysrev slash rsysrev. But then getting your, your data frame out of that is, is really, really easy. You just use rsysrev, get level answers, and put in your project identifier, and you get a big table out. If you want to work with this, we'd really love to talk to you, and you should certainly contact us. Uh, we'd love to set up some integrations for sysrev. So finally, if you're a developer, we really want to build integrations with you. Please contact us. If you're a researcher, we think you should use sysrev.com. It's free, and it's only $10 a month for some of our advanced tools. If you're an organization, you should talk to us about institutional license. We're actually already working with the Kennedy Krieger Institute to use sysrev in the classroom. And uh, if you're an organization outside of education, you should talk to us about managed review. Uh, we can help you build these machine learning algorithms. We can help you uh, set up complex review projects. So if any of this is of interest to you, please contact me at tomatandsilica.co uh, or just go to sysrev.com. Okay, uh, thank you very much.